PTSD. Two people can go to the same adverse event, yep. all right? One walks away with PTSD, one doesn't, okay? The difference is one had a susceptibility that the other one didn't. The emphasis needs to be on one's susceptibility, okay? Yes. Rather than on necessarily the adverse event. So another way of thinking about PTSD then, it's an unaddressed vulnerability state, yeah. okay? Because you're still vulnerable, you need to be at alert, yes. okay? If you're, if you're vulnerable as hell and says, oh, I'll just go out there, it'll be fine, well, that's, that's not going to work no. out, okay? So there's an unaddressed susceptibility, and as a result, we're in this alarm state. So I'll call it yellow alert, and it's just like a baseline alarm state of being mildly freaked out the whole mm -hmm. time, not being able to really enjoy much of anything because you're too kind of freaked mm -hmm. out, all right? And as a result, you don't really want to go out and do stuff because it's depleting. Yeah, so right? high, a heightened level of arousal, the hyper-vigilance, agitation, on edge, sleep problems. Yeah. And on a bad day, bang, red yeah. alert, okay? And that's when people are really distressed. So that red alert, is it's it's like a panic attack, essentially, yeah. all right? It's extremely unpleasant. People do whatever they can to avoid it, all right? Most no people would, fun. Most people describe that as getting triggered. Okay, but the other thing that's really critical, and this is the big clue, I think, is that these memories bubble up. The memory of the trauma bubbles up. Nightmares that relate to the trauma bubble up. Or there'll be something in your environment that reminds you of the trauma and bang. Yeah. You're thinking about it. Like your subconscious is reminding you that you are still susceptible. Yeah. Okay. You've got a chink in your armor. Yeah. Okay. That means that you could get taken out again. All right. Now, you know, you've got all this stuff going on. Red alert, yellow alert, susceptibility warnings going off all the time. Okay. All of, oh yeah, and the susceptibility warnings, of course. You yeah. get triggered, you get yeah. a red alert, yep. Yeah. Okay, all right, now all of this is really depleting, right? It's a bit like having too many windows open on your phone and your yeah. phone doesn't run right, okay? So you're really low RAM, yeah. which means you're cranky, you can't concentrate, you're sensitive, okay? And it's even harder to figure out your susceptibilities because of the low RAM, okay? Yeah. So this is kind of the model of PTSD that we're using, all right? Yeah. Which makes a lot more sense of treatments. You know, there's treatments that you might throw at hypervigilance, there's mm -hmm. treatments that you might throw at the mm -hmm. red alert state things. There's things that you might throw at low RAM to optimize sleep and concentration and so forth. But this is the root cause. This is what needs yeah. to be addressed. Yeah, and if all you're doing is targeting these bits, you will get that symptom reduction, but it's only a matter of time before you stop using those skills and then all of this kind of starts bubbling up again because we never actually get address the, the root cause. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is our higher resolution model. Yeah, so this this is your model, right? Yeah. This is what you've come up with. Good. All okay. right, so what are the susceptibilities? So susceptibilities are something that you can, if you if you can identify your susceptibility, okay, that means you've got a shot at mitigating your susceptibility. Okay. All right? Um, that and, and, and by doing so, you learn the lesson of the trauma. Yeah. Okay, so the, tra or the, adverse, the adverse event has demonstrated you were susceptible in some way. All right. Yeah. And the lesson from the trauma is to do something about that susceptibility. All right. So that you're unlikely to be traumatized again in that way. So what, what can, can we, we do, do about, about it? it? Okay. <laughs> all right. Good. Okay. So we need to make sense of the adverse event. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the adverse event, it's got the the the, the lesson is in the adverse event. Okay. Yeah. The susceptibilities can be derived from understanding the adverse event. But if you can't even look at the adverse event, how are you supposed to do anything?